here at John Russell here with Kenny Porter, famous trainer of his son. You know I'm Sean Porter, man. Thanks for having for having your time with us, you know, sparing your time. Listen, um, we just wanted to ask you, you know, over the years you seen what Sean became as an athlete, tremendous football player, track, field, a little bit of that, boxing. What was the key thing that you saw in him being a youth? that made him not only be a decent boxer, that can possibly turn him into a world champion boxer. When did you see that point where he can potentially be there? You know what, it was not something that Sean did. One thing that told me he was gonna be a world-class boxer, it was everything that Sean did that told me he was gonna be a world-class athlete, you know. So with that being said, like, we're talking about from birth, when he first started walking, when he first started playing with toys around the house or doing anything, everything he did, he did full speed. You, you was telling I mean? me he was like, he was around the house when you asked him to do something, right. he was like, pyong. Right, he would take off. And was his it. nickname going to be pyong? No, no. <laughs> his mom was calling him Bam Bam. Bam Bam. And she was calling him Bam like Bam. Like from the Flintstones, from man. From the Flintstones. Because okay. he was like, you know, super strong at, 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 at a young age, you know what I'm saying? He was all muscled up. I was the same way when I was a small kid. They didn't call me Kenny, they called me Hercules. That was before I started school. Okay. So the name was Herc for short. That was before I even got to school. And I got to school, told the teacher my name was Herc. She's like, uh, no, your name is Kenneth Porter. It's right here. But yeah. the point I'm making is we saw that and knowing where I was in life when I was that age and the things I was doing, playing ball, boxing and stuff like that, it was just a natural transition to get him into them sports. But like you said, uh, everything I asked him to do around the house, it was great because he did it full speed. Sean, take the garbage out. He's running to grab the garbage, running, taking it out, throwing it away, where his brother was like, I'm gonna get to it after the cartoon. Yeah. I'm eating my cereal and you gotta get on him. Man, I told you to go take that out, you know. Real, real, so, real, real, real quick. Tell us a little inside joke about Sean. What was his favorite cartoon growing up? Favorite cartoon growing up? Let me see. This is a little side jab, right? For whatever the reason is, he's still looking at Tom Jerry. I don't even know. <laughs> he got some. It's violent, about, that's why. Right, he got some about that cat smash, that mouse smashing on that big cat. He's something about that little mouse breaking that big cat down uh -huh. that has always stuck with him. So he will crack up and laugh and still have fun with that even now. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Sorry to throw you to that curve, Kenny, but you know I had to ask you that. I'll, I'll let you go ahead and yeah. get back to where you were. No, that's, that, that, that's, <laughs> that's the type of person he is. Yeah. You know, he's happy-go-lucky. He's a lot of fun. He enjoys laughing. If I'm if I'm like hard on something or mad about something, getting on something, yeah. he tell me to relax, which pisses me off. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, dude, don't tell me to relax. Just relax. I got this. Yeah. Man, don't tell me to relax. It just it just hype me up even more. But that's who he is. He's so low key. But he got them two sides of the personality. One, I think, come from the mom, who was a quiet, soft, soft spoken person. Yeah. And the other, when he get in the ring, he the killer. It came from the dad. You know what I mean? It came from me. That's who I was, who I am. I, you know what I'm saying? I won't hesitate. Only thing now is, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to get in no trouble for it, so we do it legally in the ring. Yeah. You know I what I mean? But he turned it on just like a light switch, man. He flipped it on as soon as he get in that ring. Man, kid, you know what? I, I, I definitely want to move on and ask you about your your relationship and how it compares to every other father and son relationship in boxing that we see like with Shane and his father Shane Mosley and his father Floyd and his father do you how do you, I mean what what do you think differentiates rates from what the cameras are going to see I assume in the future if you guys keep on doing what you're going to do that you'll eventually be on all access too or a 24-7 kind of show to show your lifestyle. So before it gets to that kind of point, how would you explain to people, like, what is your relationship like with your son? Is it more like a, a brotherly relationship? Or like, this my cousin, I can go out and do anything and talk with him? Or is it more that traditional father and son relationship? No, it's definitely not traditional. All Access came to hang out with us last week. Mm -hmm. So that's starting to show either tonight, Friday. Okay. Definitely tomorrow, 
all before the fights began. They were showing the all access. They was with us for the whole weekend. Okay. Uh, it's not the traditional relationship. Yeah. Um, a really, 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 really deep side note to that or backstory on that is uh, when I was very young, I lost my brother. I had a little brother when I was uh, four years old. Uh, him and I were left at home alone. Uh, he was three and we went looking for my mom and when we found her or got close to finding her, uh, uh, crossing the street to get to the house where she was at. It was at night. A uh, drunk driver hit him and he oh, was wow. killed. Okay. So I lost him a long, long, long time ago as a youth, as a, as a small boy. So my whole entire life, I've always been looking for my brother. Other kids that I came in contact with, hey, you know, you got a brother. You know, when you're young, you don't know anybody. You got a brother. No, you don't have a brother. I can be your brother. These type of things I'm saying to somebody when I'm five, six, seven years old because I don't know anybody. Yeah. You know, I don't know any better than to, to say this, to try to make up for the loss. And then it went on from that to even at a very young age, just making sure kids got across the street. By the time I was 14, I was already carrying, carrying a clipboard and coaching kids in different sports, like I football. I was already doing things like that. You know what I mean? I was already being called coach. I would leave my football practice and go coach other kids. So I've always been someone that um, fought bullies against, you know, picked on little smaller kids. I was always the guy that fought the bullies. Yeah. I was always the guy that protected somebody. Okay. I was always the guy that if a girl was hit, getting hit by a guy and I didn't know the girl, I still stepped in. And see, you know, I, I kind of got, I kind of got that same complex too, because I'm a short guy too. Yeah. But I was always stepping in. Yeah. You I'm know? always stepping in. <laughs> I always have been. So that is something that has always been there. When Sean was born, I have another son, Kenny. But when Sean was born, uh, he didn't care for me too much. <laughs> but his brother, you know what I'm saying, Kenny, who's named after me, he was crazy about me. But. Uh, Sean wasn't, you know what I'm saying, he was more the mama's boy when he was born, but by the time he was um, maybe around a year, a little more than a year, not quite, yeah. but right around a year, I, I got a hold to him and I started taking care of him. And as he grew and his brother grew, I was a single parent as both of them grew. They were my sons, but they were more like my brothers. I got you. And because I had them at a young age, you know what I mean? I'm a teenager, 18, 19 years old, and I'm having babies. You know, people yeah, see you us can now. Pass off all of them right, people see us now, and they yeah. can be brothers. Um, he's always been there for me in that capacity of what I lost. I got you. Always. And I've seen pictures of me and my brother, only one or two of them. It looks a lot like me and him together, but you know, young young kids, you know, young babies, but it looks a lot like us, because my brother was a lighter complexion kid and a lot like Sean. So we have more of a definitely a father son because you know I'm the father. But we got more of a a, a, a a brotherly relationship and a friend relationship. He'll text me in the other room and say, hey, it's a movie at 7.30, let's go. I got you. And right behind that text, I'm like, well, who you going with? I got such and such. I said, well, let me call somebody. We'll double up. Uh, easy. You know what I mean? That's yeah. easy. That's the, you know what I'm saying? We do that regular. You know what I'm saying? We getting ready to take a trip to Bahamas right now. That's he fun. got somebody he going with. And I got somebody I'm with, you know what I'm saying? And we have a relationship in the gym of that trainer and that fighter, and that works. But we carry it home, and Sean has said the other day, just said, you know what, I don't even try to stop taking it home because you're going to come up with a great idea that's going to help me win the fight, and I want you to come in there, open up my door, knock on my door, and say, hey, man, here's what we're going to do. And we'll go practice it right then. You know what I mean? He said, and don't nobody else have that advantage over me. You know what I mean? Nobody has that advantage when it's time for him to step on the scale in the morning. Nobody else had that advantage when he's eating. I diet with him. I cut the weight with him. Yeah, you know that's what you I know about. 16, 17 pounds this camp, just like him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so we go to church together. We do. We sit in church together. We eat together. We, you know what I'm saying? If we get to a hotel and they ain't got two beds, we'll get in the bed together. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's my dude.